every dashboard or KPI is powered by an underlying query. So what we could do is take one of the queries that we wrote and use it to build a dashboard, right? So any query that we write using Query Generator, it can be used to create a dashboard. So how do we do that? So the first thing we want to do is go under Pervasive Analytics. And we want to build a new dashboard just based on that query. Now, what I'll do is I actually um, I'm going to find that query here in this folder. Remember that sales query, that sales folder we have. So we have one called sales query one, but you can see I've got a, a lot of other queries in here as well that I've that I've written, all using the query generator. So, for example, I've got one here called top two salespeople based on total AR, right? So I can click on there, and you can see in the preview window up here, it's actually going to show you um, a preview of that query that I wrote in the query generator, and you get a snapshot of what the query results are. So I have a salesperson name, their total sales amount. I've got Michael and Dwight, their respective total sales amount. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say OK. And what I can do is actually build a dashboard. I want to say, see, for example, my total sales amount. This is my measure, usually a dollar amount, for example. And I want to see my salesperson name. And now on the right here, you're going to see a preview of a bar chart of what that would actually look like. It doesn't have to be a bar chart. It could be a line chart, a pie chart, for example, right? In this case, I want it to be a bar chart. And maybe I want it in descending order. So I want to sort. So I have my number one salesperson first. And then I can click on this checkbox to save it. And I'll give it a da uh, the dashboard a name. Top to sales rep. So now I want to add that dashboard, that bar chart that I just created to my screen here. So I'm going to click on this pencil. Click on the plus sign. I'm going to say add. And we're just going to find that bar chart we just created. So here it is, top two sales reps. Click on the plus button. Click on the back arrow here. And our little check mark. And now you can see I've got that little bar chart over here, okay? Um, I can make that bigger, for example, so it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, so now I've got a really nice dashboard that gives me quick access to information, right? And it all started with the query generator. I built a nice little sales query. I took um, bits and pieces of that sales query and I dragged them into a respective uh, dashboard. For example, in this case, I took the salesperson uh, name and the salesperson uh, total sales amount. I drag those two into those two fields into my my dashboard here, and now I've got a nice representation that shows me how they're how well they're performing on my screen. So I got quick access to information.